Hello, this is Chris Duncan at Find Your Focus Photographic Education, and we're back working with our bride here, showing you some uh, retouching techniques to add a little more depth and uh, finishing touches to your images. Uh, I've already done the oil paint on our hair, a technique we filmed in another video. You can find that on our YouTube channel or on our blog or Facebook. Uh, but now we're going to add a little more dimension with some highlight and shadow, especially in her hair and along her veil. And I'm going to show you this technique we use to do that. First thing you want to do is create a solid color layer and we want it to be gray medium gray and that's your value should be 128 128 128 I'm gonna click OK and I'm gonna set this blend mode to soft light now the image ain't gonna look any different because we use gray and soft light blend mode keeps it neutral so the key to this is when we brush so I'm gonna hit B to get my brush tool And I had to rasterize that because it was a fill layer. We just want to make it a solid color layer. You could fill it with gray. I just prefer to do that way. So we're going to use a black or a white brush. I'm going to hit X to reset my palette, make sure I have a white brush. And I like to use a flat oval brush for this, make it kind of soft. And we're going to zoom in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding highlights. I like my opacity around 40%. Uh, you can play at the opacity, and you'll want to watch it the whole time you're doing this. Um, to make sure that because it can go on too heavy but I'm gonna make light little strokes that's probably a little too wide I like this real skinny brush follows her hair just on these highlights light skinny strokes really soft and subtle and you might not it can even see what I'm doing yet but when I turn these layers on and off you're gonna really be able to see how we've added some highlight to her hair and some dimension to this so the key is nice, soft strokes. And, the, and using a pretty fine brush, you don't want to go with a big, thick brush, or then it looks kind of fake. Um, I want this to look natural, and I'm going to show you a technique, how we finish it out. So I'm always rotating my brush to go at the angle of these highlights. That's critical, um, using that brush tip shape modifier in your program. Okay, so I think I've got some nice highlights on there. I'm going to hold the space bar and go down and just hit some of these down here. And then we'll turn these layers on and off and you'll be able to see how we've just made her hair really come alive just by adding some highlights to it. And I like to set my brush in the pressure sensitive mode. So the harder I press, the more paint it lays down, the softer I press the lighter. And that just gives me a little more flexibility um, when I'm painting these in. And that, man, this image calls for, there's so many different ways we could just bring this to life with these little techniques. I'm not going to bore you with all of that. I'll just show you some of them. Okay, so let's zoom out a little bit. And let's cycle this layer on and off and just see the highlight in her hair. See how we've just enhanced that highlight in her hair? I just think it gives it a little more depth. So I'm going to do a couple more things. I'm going to get a rounder brush and a softer brush and I'm going to lower my opacity to about 20 percent I'm just going to paint a little highlight on her lip here nice and subtle, a little broad in the middle, fading off in the edges okay remember I'm all using a white brush on that gray soft light layer now I also want to paint in her eyes, this you got to be really careful here you may want to go opacity really low this can get overdone really fast so I'm just brightening her eye just a little bit Real subtle. Okay, let's zoom out again. That was a 20 or 15% opacity brush. Okay, so we've just painted in highlight. All right? Another way place I'd like to paint in highlight on this is I'm gonna go back to a 30% opacity brush by hitting the three. This brush. Make this a little harder. And I'm gonna hit this edge of her veil here. Just this little ripply edge just using really light pressure maybe some of these flowers that already have some nice highlights on them this one here, let's really bring up this detailing on this veil it's really nice so I'm just painting in a little, little bit of light I love it on folds of clothes, maybe not on a white dress but man if you've got someone that's worn maybe um, a gray or black sweater or something, got some nice folds in it, 
Man, bringing out those highlights really works nice. You can see how I can do it on the folds of this veil. Just really playing up that those folds of that highlight. Just bring some nice light play into the image. Okay, so let's turn that off and on. Okay, now we can paint in shadow. We just want to use a black brush. So I'm going to hit X to switch my palette around to the black brush. And then I'm going to come in and paint underneath some of those highlights in her hair. And really I'm just playing up the highlight that's there and I'm playing up the shadow that's there. Um, but it's going to start giving us some depth. And once again, watch that opacity, watch your brush direction, nice, clean, short brush strokes, and you can really create some dynamic stuff here, especially in the scalp here. I don't want it to go to her, I don't want you to see her skin there, so I'm going to dodge that in a little bit, or burn that in, I guess is really what I'm doing. Okay, then I want to come back here, and I'm going to paint really subtly. Use a rounder brush, a much smaller brush, real subtle, the bottom of her lip, it's like it's giving her lip liner, it's real subtle. And then I want to come in and give her eyeliner. And I'm all doing this with about a 30% opacity brush, and I'm hitting those eyelashes nice and soft and the bottom of that pupil. And the good thing is this, um, you can always use your Command Z key if you need to go backwards, or you can put a layer mask on this layer when you're done, once you kind of fine tune it um, to correct some stuff if you go too far. Another thing I like to do is I like to paint a little sh little burn around her nostrils and underneath her nose. It just helps to find that shape of her face a little bit. So let's zoom out. This is painting in some light and some shadow, dodge and burning. We could call it that. So see how we just created some depth there? So now what I do, once I like where I've painted everything, I go to my filter menu, I go to blur, Gaussian blur, and I like to blur it about four to six pixels. And so any of those hard brush strokes that may have got a little erratic, it just really softens that out. So now I've blurred it, turn that layer on and off, and now we've created some of that nice dimension in her hair. And like I said, you can layer, it's layer mask if you want to go back and adjust some of that or you can change the opacity slider of your layer. Anyway, that's just a neat way to add some dimension and play up some of those highlights and shadows in your subject. My name is Chris Duncan. This is Find Your Focus Photographic Education. And uh, thanks for watching and happy creating.